So I have been part of a social experiment. I am a resident in the Woodward's development, in the family building. And I have found that the children of Vancouver, specifically in that area of town, have a job. They have been passing one of the most important areas of our city on a daily basis. They've been taking the bus and sometimes walking through and around the 20 block of East Hastings. This is an area of trauma. It is a place that Vancouver knows well. It is along one of the main arteries of traffic where cars go day and night. It is well known and it is often hidden in our thoughts because the trauma that it represents is so great, it's difficult for us to process. But the children are called to process it. And so, as a parent, I have come to the conclusion that it is my job to significantly consider how I process trauma so that I can pass this knowledge in some way, maybe not completely, maybe not directly in the words that I will use tonight to my son. The traumas we have witnessed the world over, and with the vision of the internet, we see images of suffering in ways we've never seen before. Children dead on foreign shores, forests taken down for want of land, islands of plastic throughout the sea, the mid-level drug dealers on Hastings Street, the horrors of the residential schools, wars and wars, rumors of wars, and all the while, persistent poverty. And also, there are our own traumas, the family accidents, the incidents, the fights, the loved ones we have lost, some far too soon. Trauma leaves the sufferer confused. Communication crumbles. Exhaustion overtakes the body. And even our ways of loving can suffer. Beneath the cloud the trauma leaves behind, we encounter our own vulnerability. So, is the solace for trauma in our midst? Is it here, at the center of our churches? Do we hold the divine keys to heal our brokenness? What is it God has given us? We look at our lives and we see trauma evident in the sacraments of the Eucharist. We lift the communion cup to our lips. God is gifting us with God's brokenness, revealing that God understands fully what it means to be a human being. And so within the quiet of our minds, we consider again and again the story of God's trauma. Oh, we are acquainted with God's grief. Jesus Christ, God's only son, the human who we killed. And this is the story we play again and know again every Sunday. This is the same with sufferers of trauma. This is the reason for traumatic thought. Some have called this thought dysfunctional, while the trauma sufferer considers again and again the moment that trauma presented, the change, when they could no longer be what they were, when something else was called up from the depths of themselves. This is traumatic thought. Repetition is how we adapt. We search the moments again and again to find the moments where we resurrect. And this is the gift of the Eucharist. We hold the resurrection in our hearts, 
the moment when God redefined God's self, the moment when God went back to God. For when Christ died, the Holy Spirit carried Christ to God. God died within God. And when we contemplate the tr Trinity, God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, while well, the communion cup is on our lips, we find that we are already involved in the mystery of God. We cannot shape the mystery of God. It has its own energy, its own direction. It has its own purpose, its own way of being. Just as in the crux of our catastrophes, there is an inconceivable surprise. The moment when we were no longer what we were and were called to become something else. And this is why we keep turning on the heat, <laughs> why we fix our roofs, and why we keep sweeping the street. This is why we keep planting the roses, unlocking the doors, hanging the banners, sweeping the floors. And this is why Sunday school can never stop, <laughs> and why the verger cares about that mop and why throughout our ancient ancestry we keep stacking prayer books in the vestry, and why we cover crosses every spring, and why the Easter choirs will always sing. From precious death into eternal life, the Holy Spirit carried Christ to God calling us to redefine ourselves, reminding us how God did also. And this is our secret. This is the gift that God has given us. And this is what we practice countless Sundays. So may we gather together again at the altar and practice this good gift of God and may we go out to a world that needs our skill, where trauma is, where trauma will always be, for it is the core of our humanity. As much as love, as much as charity, as much as one in three, and three in one, for where we are, God will always be.